does this mark the end of the euphoria? Casper may be trying to value itself at something a little bit more reasonable. I don't think so. Uh, I think the foundations for the IPO market are pretty strong. Equities are trading at all-time highs. Uh, US forward S&P trades at 20 times earnings. So investors are obviously feeling pretty good about equities right now. Mm -hmm. um, now, there are geopolitical factors that can at times cause volatility in the equity market. But overall, we're feeling pretty good about the pipeline. Um, investors will make their minds up on individual uh, investments, but the forward pipeline feels pretty strong and equities overall are obviously training at very healthy, robust levels. Uh, speaking of the IPO market, it seems that investors are still a little bit risk on. You have a smart metering company you're taking public tonight. And then also um, there's PPD that's about to raise more than $1 billion. Mm -hmm. What are investors looking for? What are they willing to buy? Yeah, look. Um, we're pricing the first UK IPO uh, since, uh, since Brexit, obviously, and, and since the election. So we're, we're quite excited about that uh, pricing this evening. Uh, we're feeling good about the UK uh, in general. Uh, we think the UK has been underinvested uh, over the last three years. I think it's an interesting point as well that the S&P forward, as I said, is trading at 19 times. But there's a three and a half uh, earnings turn gap between where Euro stocks trades and the US. So if you're looking at Europe and you're a US investor with a strong currency, there is a nice relative value trade there. Um, as it relates to IPOs, the, we're still operating in an environment that is growth starved. And the great thing about IPOs is that you get real growth. I think that desire is tempered by real growth and profitability. So investors are willing to pay for predictable growth. Um, and if that growth is contracted and secure for the next 12 months or so, that's something that's very interesting to investors.